All right, we're over here in the Xbox team, and uh, tell me who you are and what you do here. My name is Jeff Henshaw, and I run the Xbox platform incubation and prototyping team. And you've got a uh, you've got a release coming up here, right? We have a big release coming up in less than two weeks. On November twenty second, Xbox One will be made available to people around the world. And so uh, we wanted to talk a little bit today about the way that SkyDrive works on Xbox One. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, we're really happy to uh, to be announcing SkyDrive on Xbox One. It's part of our bigger vision to bring all of the entertainment that people love together in one device on one input on your television. Of course, Xbox One is great for a next generation of games, but we've found ways to bring live television, media applications, and with SkyDrive, we're even able to bring your own personal and your friends' shared photos and videos into the Xbox One experience. Very nice. So I can watch all the videos that I just upload to my, my SkyDrive account. Everything that's in your cloud is available to you now on your television with SkyDrive for Xbox One. And is it just certain file types or is it pretty much everything? We focus on making a really beautiful, simple experience. So SkyDrive on Xbox One automatically filters out just your photos and videos, the things that are going to look great on your television, and gives you beautiful slideshows of both of those. And can you show us how this works? I can. It all starts off, like everything on Xbox One, with a simple voice command. Uh, what we're looking at here is my home screen on Xbox One. You can see I've been playing Forza Motorsport recently, been listening to a little music, Skyping with my friends. To get to my photos and videos in my own SkyDrive, all I have to do is say, Xbox, go to SkyDrive. Automatically. Xbox brings me up a beautiful view that's been formatted to look really fantastic on my television that features my photos and my videos. You'll notice that we've, um, we've gone through and grabbed out big, beautiful images that represent all of the photos in each of those folders. Um, with my voice or with my controller, I can navigate into any of those. Uh, in this case, uh, we recently just passed Halloween, so I've got some, some photos of the family pumpkin carving that went on at home. We did some really nice things with beautiful full screen effects where we'll pick a hero image and saturate the screen with it really nicely. I can flip through these or if I want to just sit back and enjoy them, I can do a photo slideshow. And we automatically use Xbox One's powerful graphics to do some really nice photo slideshows and transitions in a way that you can just sit back and enjoy. We're really, really excited to make it this easy for anyone to get their own content onto their TV with really no effort at all. And can you navigate? I noticed you were doing this with the controller, but you can use voice or the controller or any combination. I can combination. use my voice to navigate too, and that's where things get really exciting. Watch this. Xbox, select. Shared. Panoramas shared by Doug Barrett. What I just did was I used my voice to navigate in to a folder that is full of really cool panoramic images that my friend Doug has shared. Uh, this way, any of my friends can share information with me and I can enjoy it on my television. And like you said, I can do that with either voice or controller or gesture if I want to use gesture to navigate through these. Um, since we navigated into these panoramas, it gives me a really good opportunity to show some of the cool zooming functionality that we built. Each of these photos is a massive massive photo. Uh, this one I think is over 1400 pixels wide. We use some really smart technology to initially load a thumbnail of the photo, but as I zoom in, we go dynamically fetch the full multi-megabyte version, so as I continue zooming, the picture stays really crisp. And if I want to zoom in and, for example, see what the batters or pitchers doing, I can zoom right into that part of the field, and we've dynamically brought in all of that depth as I zoomed in. And zooming back out, we can see the whole, I think this one is about 14 megabytes in size. Yeah. So we're really smart about how we handle progressively bringing in massively uh, beautiful high-res images. Very nice. It reminds me of the deep zoom stuff that we used to see out of MSR. Very, in very the past. similar to the deep zoom work. But this way, you can do it with a controller from your couch. Yeah. So we're very excited about that as well. And so all I have to do is just upload really big pictures to my SkyDrive and that'll allow me to do so that same thing. The functionality. nice thing about SkyDrive is you can upload pictures of any size, you can upload videos of any size uh, to your SkyDrive. You can even have your Windows phone set to automatically upload every photo that you snap with your phone without you having to do anything. Very nice. And that way you've got a live camera roll always available 
on your SkyDrive. So if you want to snap pictures all day long as you're out and about town or at work, you can come home and at the end of the day, sit down on your couch, hop on your Xbox, and look at the photos that you shot over the course of the day without you having to manage files at all. So let's say I'm watching TV and someone has shared some of their SkyDrive files, uh, like photos from a vacation. Uh, show me the experience of how I would view those photos. Do I have to stop watching TV? Or That's can a great I do, question. Do it once? You might be in the SkyDrive app already. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing something like watching TV and you want to look at content from other applications, Xbox One has a really great place to do that. We call it OneGuide. Let me show you what that looks like. Xbox, one guide. It starts out as a place where all of your broadcast channels are put together. So you can watch live TV powered by your voice, switching through channels, with Xbox One controlling all of the devices in the living room to make that really easy. But one of the things we've done to integrate multiple types of entertainment into one experience is we've extended those traditional broadcast TV listings to also include something called app channels. App channels you can think about as any media application like Netflix, Hulu Plus, HBO Go. Any entertainment application that wants to expose its content as a channel can now do that. And we integrate those right in with your broadcast channels. SkyDrive is no exception. SkyDrive automatically creates a photo roll and or sorry, a photo folder and a camera roll app channel for you. But where the magic really comes in is when you've got friends sharing things with you in a shared folder and you want to keep up with them. So we can go create our own custom app channels in SkyDrive. I'll show you how that works. Xbox, go to SkyDrive. So I will go up to a friend's shared folder. In this case, uh, one of my coworkers has recently been to Australia. And he's kind of taunting those of us stuck here in Redmond with these really beautiful photos from his Australia vacation. So I can go into SkyDrive and look at those every day. But that's a little bit manual for me. Instead, what I'm going to do is click the Add to One Guide button. And what that does is that automatically creates a channel of programming based upon this SkyDrive shared folder. So now, the first thing I do when I come home at the end of the day and I want to catch up on what's on, I sit down and say, Xbox One Guide. Now in my One Guide, I've got all of my broadcast channels, all my favorites, and I've got app channels, including a bunch for SkyDrive, that features Australia. This is now a channel of programming content right up there with all my broadcast stations. And if I want to play, that slideshow just like I would any other channel. I just pick a photo and it takes me directly into SkyDrive, automatically launches me into the photo slideshow. I don't have to worry about what app it was. We're smart enough to know that it was SkyDrive that hosts these photo slideshows and I'm automatically looking at photos from my friend's vacation. One thing that we're doing uniquely on Xbox One that no other platform does is we're letting you blend two experiences together. So let's say I'm looking at a photo. This is another vacation photo from a friend in Australia. It's of the Sydney Opera House. If I want to learn more about that, I can learn more about it on the same screen because Xbox One is powerful enough to do two things at once. If I want to look up a little more information, let's say in IE, all I have to do is say Xbox Snap Internet Explorer. We bring up Internet Explorer. I've already been searching around for a little bit more information on the Sydney Opera House, but now Internet Explorer runs right alongside SkyDrive so I can be looking through photos and learning more about them at the same time. Anything else you want to add? Yeah, we would love to have all of the Channel 9 readers and viewers who have pre-ordered an Xbox One start uploading their photos and videos to their SkyDrive now so that when you get your Xbox One in your living room on November 22nd, you've got a lot of great content already available to you. All you have to do is go to the Xbox Marketplace by saying Xbox Bing SkyDrive. And there it goes. And there we go. <laughs>